What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So this will be the recap for Pretty Little Liars Original Sin Season 1 Episode 4. Episode 4 opens back in Millwood in the year 1999 again. Angela Waters is seen smoking with a girl but Angela is blamed for it after the janitor catches the two smoking. This girl is revealed to be Marjorie who is Noah's mom. In the present day, uh, she received Noah's mom, that being she receives a bear from A that is reminiscent of a bear she gave Angela to apologize back in 1999. Imogen receives a call from one of her mom's classmates to ask about Angela Waters. The caller hangs up after saying that they know nothing about Angela Waters. The girls are then shown meeting to talk about Angela Waters and the absence of A because it's been two weeks since they last heard from A. Imogen believes there's a reason A is targeting them as it could relate to Angela and their mothers. Tabby goes back to the boys' locker room and takes her camera back. She's forced to hide in the stall after two boys come in and talk about smashing another girl at school. We are then jumping to Mrs. Hayworth who tells Imogen about an offer to her old house. Back at school, Tabby is given a new assignment in her film class that she seems to be in agreement with this time. Farron notices Kelly moving into Karen's locker and questions it. So they're already teasing that Karen is still alive and just pretending to be Kelly. So Minnie is shown meeting with Ash again and he says he wants to hang out with her on Halloween. Minnie says she can't because her mom never lets her go out on Halloween. Imogen goes back to her childhood home and has flashbacks about the first time she moved in with her mom. Imogen hears a noise and goes investigating with a flashlight and A is underneath the stairwell of the basement that she enters. Imogen scares off people who want to buy the house with a story about a woman dying in the house. <laughs> I, I really don't know why she did that. And of course she wanted to have the home as like a some type of uh, keepsake or something. So Mrs. Hayworth tells Imogen that she's heard about her investigating Angela Waters through old classmates and suggests Imogen move on from Angela and Imogen says that Mrs. Hayworth and their moms just want to hide a secret. The liars are then shown meeting at lunch the next day to talk about Tabby's assignment related to her love of horror movies. She's working on a short film and wants to shoot in the boys locker room. Tabby talks to Greg about starring in her short about a reverse psycho so she's doing her take on psycho from a female lens greg agrees to do it since it is a shower scene with a hot girl farron and kelly practice ballet and kelly apologizes about having to do this since she's not as good of a dancer farron reminds kelly about the racist comment she made kelly makes comments that continue to tease she's karen and not kelly Imogen is shown packing up things at the house. She notices an old Ouija board her mom had and remembers they used it once. Imogen tells Tabby she wants to reach reach out to her mom via a Ouija board, I assume. Farron is now trying to see if Kelly is really caring during a conversation during their training. She confronts Kelly about doing about doing anything for her sister and questions the outfit she wears which makes Kelly uncomfortable. They are really just hyping it up at this point that Kelly is not Kelly, she's Karen. <laughs> Imogen and the liars are shown using the Ouija board to contact Davy. The board becomes active and Imogen speaks down, talk, or Imogen breaks down rather, talking about her mother, demanding that she say something because it's the least she can do. Imogen tells her mom that she hates her and she's glad this house is selling. Uh, the liars watch on letting her vent and remind Imogen they are here for her. Nora is greeted by the sheriff who comes to do a re who comes to do a search starting in Noah's bedroom. The sheriff moves on to the bathroom where he finds something and questions Noah about it. Noah asks Marjorie if she's on drugs again and she replies saying saying for back pain only. The next morning, Noah realizes her mom's pills aren't even prescribed to her. Tabby meets with Greg and Farron about them shooting her reverse cycle scene. They discuss the fake blood costumes and Greg asks if he should bring his own condoms if, if it turns into a porno. Imogen is shown back at her house packing up boxes and having flashbacks of her mom giving her a diary to jot secrets in. Farron and Tabby meet outside before the shoot of the cycle scene and Farron almost shares the theory about Kelly being Karen. Noah receives a text by A saying her mom will throw her under the bus just like she did to Angela. We're, we're then shown Tabby making her short film with Farron and Greg. Greg's shower scene is going to end with him being killed, of course. Imogen is shown reading through old diaries that her mom kept, but pages are missing, which sparks concern. Tabby goes back inside to her inside to her set after leaving leaving the regroup, and Farron and Greg have left the set. Noah answered the door about a pizza delivery, and their car is running, so she goes to get the pizza versus them coming up noah goes back upstairs and finds a outside her apartment door and proceeds to run outside it's a brief but fun chase scene a tells noah to finish mar to 
A tells Noah they want to punish Marjorie and A watches as Noah snitches on her mom over the phone for stealing drugs from her job at the pharmacy. Farron meets Henry to catch Kelly, who she believes is Karen, pretending to be Karen. She believes because of the blade cut, she, sh she would have a scar if she's Karen instead of Kelly. Imogen talks to her friends at school about the missing pages in the diary from her mom. Noah comes in and tells them A is back and targeted her over something her mom apparently did to Angela Waters. Now, episode four, I know it has episode five coming out tonight as well. Uh, another very eventful episode. I'm really appreciating how this show is hell bent on giving you answers and constantly being able to put the mystery at the forefront. Again, what I don't like, I've already talked about this in my review, is how a lot of the stuff that maybe should be dealt with, I guess, earlier in the season. You'll see what I mean as you get to the later seasons or the later episodes in the season. Stuff starts getting revealed and it's like it's not getting any time to breathe. That's really the only real gripe I have with this show so far. I know a lot of people think that the dialogue is bad. I know a lot of people think that some of the acting can be better. And while I can say that, yes, there are some aspects that could be better in those departments, this is still leaps and bounds ahead of those last two seasons that we got from the original show in terms of the writing, in terms of how it's putting the mystery at the focus and how it wants to constantly have you invested in what's being portrayed on your screen. And I'm also really digging how these episodes end on these cliffhangers and then they pick back up the next episode either providing you answers right away or they don't forget about how the last episode ended they give you a resolution of some sort going into the next episode so let me know what you guys think about episode four down in the comment section below the recap for episode five will be up shortly uh, and if you're enjoying the, ser the series so far let me know that as well down in the comment section let me know all of your a theories down in the comment section as well yes you will find out who a is by the time episode 10 comes out in two weeks i think at this point uh with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video but of course if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description again i will have links to all my social media accounts I'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there again of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video